Welcome back to my channel, Classic VW Lovers. This is Junior with Classic VW Bucks here in Black Peak, Ohio. In the, the uh, previous video, I showed you how to remove the oil pressure relief valve, which is right there, and the uh, pressure relief valve, which is right here. I also removed the um, oil pump from right here, and I said that the last thing I was going to do was to remove the body of the pump. For that, I removed every single 13 millimeter uh, bolt that holds the engine case together. Every single one of them. And I put them in a uh, sandwich bag and I label, label them. So the next thing I did, I broke all of these here loose to the point that they are flush with the stud. Notice how I have some gap in here for play. And I reattach a old generator stand on the engine case because I'm going to use a rubber, a rubber hammer. Like this one right here to tap here a couple of times so that the engine case breaks loose just a little bit so I can remove the body of the oil pump. So that's the next thing we're going to do. So let's see if I can set up this uh, camera back in the stand and we can have a closer look at that as I am doing it. So you grab your hammer and You tap here a couple of times. Uh, I can see that that's coming loose. All right. If you take a closer look right there, you can see that the engine case did break loose. That's what we want. You see, I can stick something through there, but at this moment, I really don't want to take it apart. All I wanted to do, the intention of that was that so that I can remove the pump body from the engine case. So let's try to do, let's try to do that now. Um, here, you can probably use the same big screwdriver and see if you can pry it. Yep, she's coming out. She, she did come out. And now you can take these out like so. So you take this out now. You see how easy that's coming out now? And what you want to do is take back your small gears and place them back in place so that you don't misplace them or lose them like so. Okay, so now you can set that aside and right now you're pretty much good to go. So the next step would be to remove the 17 inch nut here and we're pretty much ready to take this engine case apart. But before that, I wanna show you a small trick that I like to do. I'm still gonna leave these nuts here, though I'm going to replace them. I might need them later for something else, or I may be able to just replace the seals. I will know once I get my engine uh, head gasket uh, test, and I'm sorry, my engine gasket, um, my engine gasket set. 
Okay, so with that already in mind, we can go ahead and um, use a couple of uh, coat hangers like this to hold our lifters on this side of the engine case so they don't drop inside the uh, the engine, okay? Sometimes they work well, sometimes they don't, but you know, let's see if this time they work. Okay, at this point right now, I am ready to remove these uh, nuts right here. I can just lift this up a little bit more. Uh, like so. Okay. So grab yourself a little sip lock or sandwich bag, label it engine K 17 millimeters, put them in there with the washers. That way, next time you need them, you know where they belong. Again, just take your time. Don't rush into trying to get it done. Um, my target for this engine is to see if I can make it with my car to the Volkswagen Fest this year in Pataskala. I'm not sure that I will, but you know what? I'm going to give it every single effort I can um, and, and see if I can get it, you know, built back together, provided all the parts come, you know, on time and that nothing it's um, bad inside the engine that I will have to probably get a new engine case a new engine case and if that's the case then I may have to budget for that or see if it's repairable take it to a machine shop and have them repair it well I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that that's not the case And I'm thinking that that's the last one that I had to remove. Again, take your time, label your parts like so. 17 millimeter engine case. I also label my relief valves, put them together, put them in a place where you can find them. 13 millimeter engine case. And pressure relief valve. Everything is labeled. Okay. Now it's the time to see if I can get this uh, off. Alright, this is the moment. Let's hope that these clips actually hold those uh, lifters in place for, the, for that side of the engine case. Um, and let's give it a couple more taps and hope for this to actually come off
a lot of people just grab a screwdriver and stick it somewhere in here and pry it around this edge here but I really don't like to do that so I'm just gonna take my time and keep hammering with my little rubber hammer until I get it out right now I'm trying to adjust the legs on the uh, stand here to give you a better look uh, see if I can just bring this camera down like so notice how this is coming apart so all it takes is some time and some patience be patient Looks so like I am going to be needing a new rubber hammer. It broke. Trying to make sure that there's nothing holding it. Uh, let's see if we apply some uh, WD-40 on it. It might just uh, right there where the uh, studs are at. There might be some um, corrosion or rust. I don't know. Just giving it a try, giving it a try. Everything helps. She's definitely loose, so let's keep on working with it and um, we'll remove it. Well, so far, um, I'm just going to allow that for it to soak a little bit and then I'll come back on another video and show you uh, the end result on how to remove the uh, engine case. Until then, uh, Junior out.